Okay, you'd like to fire away then. Afternoon, Steve. How are you doing? Hi, guys. Oh, thanks. Good. Um, can I ask you firstly about the squad selection for this and the and the understanding that um, the player release agreement only allowed you to call up five players from uh, from England? How difficult did that make you guys' job in in selecting a squad for this match? Yeah, it makes it a little bit more difficult, but. It, it is where it is, and we've managed to select the squad that we'd be pretty confident with with going to France on, on Friday to play the game. So, yeah, it is where it is, but we, we, we've got to deal with it. At what point did you guys become aware that that this sort of limitation was going to be to be put on you? Yeah, obviously, Gray, the boss, is, it deals with most of that. Um, we we had a bit of a selection meeting and just have a quick chat, probably post game. And then uh, come to decision um, early Sunday morning and around some of those things. Steve, I know it's um, out of your hand, really, but what about the fairness of it? This was really nothing to do with with Scotland. It came from the, the French end, and yet you've got restrictions on the the players that you you can and can't select. That that can't be right, can it? Oh look, it it is what it is. Is like we can spend a lot of time talking about it but ultimately that's not not going to help us prepare for for friday so we've got to deal with with the hand we've been dealt and we'll be preparing as best we can we've got a six-day turnaround so obviously it's pretty short anyway so we can't lose focus of of the game on friday night and preparing the group as, as best we can how big a game is this then how big how big a match and uh, obviously you're, you're going for the win but what what would it take for for that kind of result to go your way Oh, look, it's, it's, it's a huge game. I think it's one of the biggest tests. Like Obviously, since I've been in, I feel like it's, it's one of the biggest test matches going away from home. We've had some great away wins in Wales and England. I think this this is right up there, in particular, when the team is, is going to potentially try, try and win the tournament. So we know the challenge is at stake, but obviously, if we get a win and we perform, then we can potentially finish second as well, which would be one of our highest finishes. So... It's all to play for in the game. We know the physical and challenge the France are going to um, pose us. And obviously, they've got some outstanding players as well. But we're pretty confident in our own ability and, and being able to put a performance in on, on Friday night. Steve, how big a step forward would it be for this team if you were to go and win in Paris for the first time in, in so many years? Yeah, look, I think, I think it'd be huge. I think we've been knocking off little bits of history, I suppose, of like winning with Downing Wales and then winning in Twickenham. This would be another sort of step in the right direction, I think, for, for the group and another um, sort of added bit of experience. And we know it'll be it'll probably in a different context and the fact that someone playing for a championship, maybe France will open up the game a little bit, searching for four tries. We know the game might be slightly different to what we would normally may have prepared for, but it's, it's, it's really exciting the group seemed really focused and, and excited for the challenge on Friday. If indeed, as you just said there, the game is open because of France, of what France are chasing, will that suit Scotland, do you think? Oh, look, I think um, look, there's, there's amazing attacking players on the field both ends. Um, I think, look, obviously, with, with, with some of the firepower both teams have got, probably for defensive coaches, you'll be holding your breath a fair bit of the time. Um, but ultimately, I think that the way the game will open up, I think, we conditioned well. We've got we back ourselves in around that open contest. It'll probably be potentially a high-scoring game then, and it, it is risk. But we we'll back ourselves either way. Anyone else coming in for a broadcast or immediate use? Uh, just a quick one, Steve. I think we got confirmation uh, a wee while ago that the Lions tour is going ahead in in South Africa as planned. The many Scots should be in the squad. Well, I'm not. I'm not good with numbers, um, but I think, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll avoid that one. Uh, look, listen. I think um, winning Twickenham was huge for our boys. Um, we obviously would have liked to have backed up another couple of wins to really push that on. But I think, I suppose, it's pretty unique that the tours like going ahead. We've got a game on our own this weekend, so I think there's an awesome opportunity for our boys to showcase themselves as individuals and as a team going to France and sort of think the only game on the weekend, I think it's, it's, it's a great chance for our boys to really express themselves and, and push forward um, a lot of cases. I think you look across the Six Nations, I mean, most games are pretty close and there's lots of depth in, in lots of positions, but I do believe within, within our team, we've got a lot of people that, that are putting their hands up. And maybe there's, there's one big stage to go and show it now, isn't there? 
Oh, it is. It is. And, you, you know, it's, they are going for the Six Nations. They, they, they've been obviously talking about scoring four tries, winning by 20 points and, and, and things like that. But I think it's, it'd be a huge statement for our boys to go and perform under that sort of, um, like that big pressure in you know, big games. And obviously it's a big game for us if we win and we, we could finish second, be huge for us as, as a nation. But like I think there's, there's so much to play for within this game, whether it be for the Six Nations, us playing second, potential places on Lions Tour. Yeah, it's, it's a huge game on Friday night. Steve, you've obviously had wins in, in Wales and in England in the last um, 12 months. Is there a real added increased confidence about going, a, going away to a difficult venue now? That there's no fears at all there? Yeah, I think we, we obviously absolutely respect France and, and know sort of the firepower they've got. And when you look at the game of the weekend, they know they can, they can turn that. But I think it's more having confidence in our own ability that we know when we got the ball, we can do some special things. And, and I think defensively, we, we, we keep growing little by little across, across the way. So, yeah, I think having those experiences of winning away from home is it just adds to that, that confidence. And we, we know that it's going to be a um, huge game on Friday and we know what France are going to represent. But I think there's, there's a confidence within the group that we can go and put a performance in. Cheers. Thanks. We move on to the 10pm embargo now, thanks.